resized. After that's done, you can just click OK and close out of Image Burn. For my tutorial, I will be using VirtualBox. In VirtualBox, I would like to just create a new Windows 7 installation. Usually, you'd want to set the RAM about at 1024 megabytes, or about 1 gigabyte. This is because Windows 7 has minimum requirements of 1 gigabyte. 512 megabytes would be fine, but I don't like things running slowly. You can just click Next, and then you would like to create a new virtual hard drive now. Uh, whatever format is fine, usually you'd want to do virtual box disk image or maybe virtual hard disk. You can even choose any other options that are listed. You can either choose dynamic, dynamically al allocated or fixed size. And then for the file, I'll have to rename this really quick because I bet I have another file. So as you can see, it'll be 25 gigabytes. And if you remember in the auto unintend, I have set that uh, the auto unintend to format this 25 gigabyte hard drive. If I had less, I don't think the installation would work. But if I had more, I think it would just leave the extra space open. So I'll just click, click create now. And then in the virtual box settings, I'd want to select my Windows 7 auto unintend. I'll just re rename that. Or you can right click it and click settings. And next you'd like to go to networking. You want to make a bridged adapter so all your networking will work right out of the box. Although you can do NAT, sometimes if you want to host a server or whatever, it'll, it won't be on your same subnet. I just like enabling that. And then you can go to storage. And then for the SATA controller, for the IDE controller, I usually use IDE. You can do the plus sign, add CD, D, CD, DVD drive, and then choose a disk. Now we can go to our Windows 7 folder and choose our newly selected Windows 7 Auto Unintent Enterprise ISO. So now then we click OK. Then you can click Start on the Oracle VM VirtualBox Manager. As you can see, it just starts up like a normal installation. And hopefully, it'll just install all by itself. We'll see. As you can see, the installation has been successful so far. Now it's just going to restart. If you remember, we set up the system to restart into audit mode. Hopefully it will do that now. As you can see, our auto attend successfully worked. However, some settings we have not set, so let's choose this now. And now from here, you can install applications for your work environment or even just your home. I usually like to do Firefox, and I would just do the basic installation of Firefox. After you're done installing custom applications or maybe documents, you can then select the system preparation tool. This system prep tool uh, 
is used so you can generalize a system. Generalizing a system means that each WIM file will create a new system identification number. If you didn't select this, this would mean that each WIM file would be the exact same computer over maybe 10 computers or how, however many you deploy. This would be bad because some networks need uh, different system IDs for each computer. So let's select Generalize Now. We would like to enter the out-of-box experience upon whatever shutdown option we choose. Of course we'd want to do out-of-box experience because we just were in audit mode and we're about to get out of it. And then the shutdown the options are pretty self-explanatory. If you choose quit, you can continue. You can continue to do whatever you want, or you could click reboot or shut down. I'm going to click shut down right now. So system prep will work in cleaning up the plugins, as you can see, and any, uh, any other files that define the system as this system only. It'll generalize it. 